Okay, we are looking at、uh, Chapter Seven: Climate and Biodiversity. From the whole structure of the book, we are still at the section of science, ecological principles, and、uh, sustainability. So, Chapter Seven: Climate and Biodiversity. With the core case study, a temperate deciduous forest, and then three sections. This slide would cover the core case study and then most of、uh, section one. What factors influence climate? So the core case study is a temperate deciduous forest. So why do forests grow in some areas and not others? Its biodiversity and species interactions are impacted by its unique climate conditions. So the climate conditions decide what kind of biomes it will have. So for climate, we can、um, divide them roughly into three areas. One is the tropical area, and then polar area, and then temperate for it. Area, so temperate deciduous forests is a part of the temperate climate, and then one thing you need to know to remember is, globally more disturbed than any other ecosystem by human activities. This is temperate temperate deciduous forest, more disturbed. Than any other ecosystem by human activities. So temperate deciduous forests are scattered throughout the temperate areas of the globe. Such forests typically see warm summers, cold winters, and an abundance of precipitation. So they are dominated by a few species. Of deciduous trees and animals such as oak, hickory, maple, aspen, birch, wolves, and foxes, all those names、uh, sound very familiar to us, right? Because we do live in temperate, deciduous forest climate area. This is our living. So those are the pictures to see the seasons. You have summer, you have winter. Okay, so that means the living things would have something adapted to the summer and winter seasoning change. Okay, so ecosystems such temperate deciduous forests adapted to their climate conditions. So in a temperate deciduous forest, most of the tree's leaves drop off the tree in the fall. Right now, you know. What the book is talking about, right? Allowing the trees to survive the cold winter by becoming dormant, so this is a benefit for the trees. And then some forest mammals, such as bears, spend their summers storing fat, and then hibernating during winter. Living organisms adapt their lives of the temperate climate conditions. Now we are going to look at section one. This one, this section is pretty intensive to cover the major factors influence climate. So, in summary, you can remember there's five factors impact、uh, climate. So, number one, surely is the coming, the incoming solar energy. How much solar energy we receive, and then the Earth's rotation. So we ro ro rotate.、Uh, By itself, and also rotate around the Earth, and then global patterns of air and water movement, because air and water movement would redistribute the heat from one location to another, and then gases in the atmosphere, like the greenhouse gases, they can make the lower atmosphere warmer. Depends on how much you have them, and then the Earth's surface features. So they have you have a mountain or you have a river or you have ocean nearby or not, all those five factors would impact an area's climate. We're going to、uh, dive into 
those points a little bit more. And then the first you need to、uh, clear about the difference between the two、uh, very close definitions. One is weather, one is climate. So weather is temperature and precipitation. Those two things. Okay, climate is also temperature and precipitation, and then including、um, wind speed, cloud cover. So those two things. But weather only describe mainly temperature and precipitation in a range of hours or days, maybe ten days. Sometimes we look at weather broadcast, but you don't hear climate broadcast, right? So climate is an area's general pattern of atmospheric conditions, or the an area's weather over periods ranging from at least. Three decades to thousands of years. So basically, in the words, is if you want to study climate, you got to collect weather data for three decades, and then you can make a general、uh, conclusion or description about the pattern of climate. So this diagram,、uh, you don't have much to memorize of the、uh, ocean current flow. You don't have to. But impress you, the Earth has many different climate zones, and major ocean current, and the upwelling areas. So the red part of the is warmer current, and then the blue part are the cold current. So in the ocean, there is massive water movement to bring the heat from one place to another, so circulate, and then. In turn, they impact the weather of that local area. So, ocean currents are the mass movements of surface water driven by winds. So, they impact regional climates. So, you can tell.、Um, so, even Ledger and New London very close, but the temperature slightly different because New London near water more than Ledger, right? So over a long period of time, patterns of global air circulation and ocean currents distribute heat and precipitation unevenly. Because you remember the keyword unevenly between the tropics and other parts of the world. Not everywhere have the same amount of precipitation, so it's unevenly. So air circulation in the lower atmosphere. Caused by a couple of things. One is the uneven heating of the Earth's surface by the sun. So the area when they receive more sunlight, the air molecule would expand. When they expand, they become、uh, less dense. So they rise, and then the surrounding heavy or dense air would、uh, sink down. So they form convection current. Keep that in mind. So wind is caused by an even heating of the Earth's surface by sun, and also caused by the rotation of the Earth on its axis, and then properties of air, water, and land of any、uh, locality. So the an even heating of the Earth's surface by sun, which gives the tropical area higher. Temperature and precipitation. We will have a diagram to notice the rotation of the Earth on its axis, which causes air movement called prevailing winds to distribute heat and moisture and drive ocean currents. So the property of the air, water, and land, which cause different temperature and precipitation fluctuation patterns. If you have a mountain, or you don't have a mountain, or how much、uh, greenhouse effect, greenhouse gases in the at atmosphere would impact the local、uh, climate. So look at this diagram to see、um, the incoming solar energy would reach the、uh, equator, and then the equator receive most of the energy, and then though other places receive differently, then this causes the different.、Uh, Air movement, and then plus the Earth rotate, so you form 
this is called、uh, prevailing wind. And then based on that, you form different biomes: tropical deciduous, temperate deciduous, and then you have、uh, you have a different desert area caused also by the prevailing wind and the incoming solar energy and the local、uh, geographical area. So a summary for that. So global air circulation, as air over the equator is heated, it rises and moves towards the poles. However, the Earth's rotation deflects this movement; would not be straight, okay, because the Earth is moving of the air over different parts of the planet. This one is called the Coriolis effect. So this create. Global patterns of prevailing winds that help to distribute heat and moisture in the atmosphere, which leads to the Earth's variety of forests, grassland, and deserts. Okay. So for this one, also you don't need to memorize this、uh, closed loop of ocean current, but this one just showed you the ocean current. Would redistribute heat from the surface warmer, and then go down to the deeper part, and then bring up、uh, cold water up. So redistribute the heat originally received from the sun. So summarize about the ocean. The ocean and the atmosphere are strongly linked in two ways. They mutually impact to one another. So ocean currents are affected by winds in the atmosphere. Heat from the ocean affects atmospheric circulation. So one example of this ocean impact is called Ansel. So Ansel is an abbreviation called El Nino Southern Oscillation. So oscillation is like that. So back and forth. So this is a large-scale weather phenomenon. So it occurs every few years, not exactly intervals. So on the quiz or test, tell you every five years or every three years, which is not correct. So they do have the oscillation come back and go away, but we do not see an exact pattern. So this happens when prevailing winds in the tropical Pacific Ocean. Weekend, so they was going to one direction, but during Ansel, so this one would be weekend, and then even change direction, so that would change the climate of that area. So, so this result above average warming of Pacific waters alters the weather over at least two thirds of the Earth for one or two years. So you can see the strong impact by the ocean current back to the atmosphere. So this diagram shows you so Ansel El Nino Southern Oscillation. So this in normal condition, in normal condition, the wind goes one direction, keep going. But during El Nino, the wind change direction, and then impact the climate, the rainfall. And then the wind above the the land area. So remember, we, remember we mentioned in the air in the atmosphere also impact. So the greenhouse gases warm the lower atmosphere. So exactly what is greenhouse gases? Okay,、um, which greenhouse gases which absorb some of the solar energy reflected back from the Earth and release a portion of it. As infrared radiation warming up the lower atmosphere, and then the greenhouse gases typically are water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide. Just you have to remember the difference between these two; they are critical for natural greenhouse effect. This one is needed, so the gases in the atmosphere keep the Earth warm enough to be habitable. However, the man Enhanced global warming is a problem, cause many problems. Okay, so I'm gonna stop this one, and then、um, be prepared to watch next video. Thank you.